All right, a sea urchin, a sea star, and a sea cucumber walk into a bar, and they all get cut open and their organs pulled out of their bodies. So lesson learned for them, stay in the ocean. Uh, today we're going to watch them, well, get cut open. And so we're going to start off with the sea cucumber over here. It looks like a baked potato, which I had last night for dinner. It was very good. Uh, this is not a baked potato. Don't, don't eat it that way. Uh, but this is our sea star. Yay! And this is the urchin. Uh, we're going to start off with looking at the external anatomy for the sea star real quick before we cut this thing open. So inside the center, it's kind of hard to see, but that's where you'll find the mouth for this thing. So let's see, the mouth, you can find it inside of there. And so deep in there, that's where the mouth would be. Um, inside of there is the stomach, which you really can't see at the moment. Uh, some spines. Good protective structures uh, are found on this outside area here. So over here. And then if you flip this puppy on over, oh yeah, uh, we have the spines all over the place. Now the tube feet are also another important structure. It helps these things navigate inside of their environment, water-filled structure, tube feet. And this is where it gets kind of tricky because they're in these little grooves in here. So they're not the spines, they're the tube feet. Oh, whoops, focus on the thing there, here we go. And so, see if we can get a little closer. Yeah, this is the tube feet down in the middle there. Uh, it's a structure found, it's one of the structures found in echinoderms. They have those. Uh, something else they have are arms. Uh, three guesses on where those are. But they have five, what? And they can regenerate these suckers. So there's one. Two, three, four, five arms. We can count. Okay, next up, what do we got? Anything else we can point out now? Not really. Uh, we can go up high, and we can point out the madreporite, which is this structure here. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, it plays a role in the water vascular system of echinoderms. So it's an important structure for that. It's also near the anus, but, you know, what ifs. Okay, that's it for the external part. Uh, we'll look at the internal and external for the sea cucumber and the sea urchin when we're actually doing that side, but this is a real quick one. See you on the flip.